Welcome back to Sawtooth Tactical. Today I want to talk about the Hamas-Israel conflict that just kind of kicked off, but really has been going on for hundreds of years. Um, but kind of from a different angle, more from the angle of how it is affecting us as gun owners in the United States of America. So if you're interested in that at all, make sure you subscribe to Sawtooth Tactical, and I'm going to tell you what I think about this. So this video is not really going to be about, about what's happening over there. What's happening over there is a terrible travesty and it's definitely a, a human rights violation on many levels and, and it's absolutely horrible. Um, but there are other news outlets and channels that have covered that and that's not really what we do here on Sawtooth Tactical. What I want to talk about is how it's affecting us here and and it is whether you want to admit it or not and i'm going to bring up two things specifically um first of all when hamas attacked israel last week um i know that it really enraged a lot of people people were talking about going over there and fighting on israel's side against hamas um for retribution for what happened um but a lot of people and myself included honestly I am a little bit sick of America, the United States, getting involved with everyone else's problems. Now, I don't get that wrong. I, I'm all about helping our allies when, when it's needed. Um, but I also think that there's a lot of money laundering going on, a lot of military industrial complex, a lot of us just putting our nose in business that's not ours instead of focusing our efforts our resources at home in our country israel has one of the tightest borders in the world and the hamas was able to attack them in the way they did our border is not tight at all we have terrorists coming through our border probably on a daily basis and we're doing nothing about it and that's going to get to the first point that I want to make. So Friday, which is two days ago, as of the time that this video comes out, was supposed to be the uh, Worldwide Day of Jihad. And it was something that, you know, I wasn't too worried about. Um, but I know that it was in the back of my mind and a lot of other people's minds as well. With our border being the way it is, and with the fact that they know that there are terrorists coming through our border, known terrorists, and those are just the ones they know about. Think about the ones we don't know about. Well, something could have kicked off on Friday. And so you know what I did? I talked to my daughter about it the night before. I didn't want to scare her, but I explained to her what was going on on the other side of the world in the Middle East and how it could possibly affect us on Friday. I talked to her about this at dinner on Thursday. Luckily, she had no school on Friday, and so I knew that she was home safe in our house. I told her to keep the doors locked. I'm not a paranoid person, but it would be stupid not to be prepared for something, especially when the leader of Hamas is telling people that follow him and them to do this. I don't even live in an area where I really think that we have to worry about stuff like this. But as someone who prides myself in being prepared for the worst, um, I might as well be prepared on a day that possibly something might kick off like that. And so normally I carry my SIG P365 with me everywhere I go. Well, that day, I took this with me in my car just because it has a higher capacity and I'm more confident shooting it. I'm a better shot with this gun, just in case. I also, Kept my 300 blackout and this rifle at the ready with loaded mags in them that day, just in case. Um, glad I didn't have to use them. I didn't expect to have to use them. But if you're going to own these kind of tools, you might as well have them at the ready in case you need them. But that is only one small part of what I want to talk about. The other way that this conflict is affecting us is we might be facing another Amogeddon crisis. Like what happened during COVID in 2020, ammo became very scarce um, because a lot of new people bought firearms. 
those new firearms owners needed to feed their guns, so they bought ammo. Ammo became really hard to find, and when you could find it, it was very, very expensive. Well, the Lake City Ammunition Plant, which is one of the biggest ammo plants in our country, um, just yesterday shut down their sales to civilians. Or they basically put a stop on all their civilian contracts because they're only going to be supplying the military and of course they're going to be supplying israel as well as ukraine i'm sure um because like i said in the united states we put our nose in everyone else's business and we are putting all our resources into helping those two countries which you know are allies of ours but they're not us and so that's where the lake city ammo is going well that's a big part of the supply of ammo for civilian gun owners in our country. And so all the other ammunition manufacturers are gonna have to step up their production in order to meet that demand. And literally, same day I saw ammo prices go up. The same ammo that I've been buying is more expensive already uh, by more than 10%, and that's in one day. So be prepared for that. I kinda hate, I saw, not to call anybody out or anything, but I saw a video by Guns and Gadgets, Jared, um, two days ago, and and he was talking about the ammo prices going up, and I kind of hate that you know that word gets out, and then people panic by ammo, and then that brings the prices up even more. And I'm not trying to do that here, and, and I hope we don't get that kind of effect from this video. I, uh, my my audience is not that big. I've got less than 10,000 subscribers. I'm really hoping to pass 10,000 very soon, so help me out with that if you can. Uh, please hit the subscribe button. But um, I feel like the, the people that have subscribed to my channel, um, your loyalty to me and my channel is greatly appreciated. And if I can let you guys know what's going on, and so that you can go out and get some ammunition to feed your guns, to stock up a little bit before prices get out of control, which hopefully they won't, but they could. Anything is possible. We're also going into an election year. That always affects, uh, you know, the scarcity of guns and ammo and the prices of them consequentially. So if you're a subscriber of Sawtooth Tactical, I thank you for that. I really appreciate it. And I just want to give you guys this warning. It might be a good time to stock up on ammo. Um, if this was helpful to you at all, please subscribe, hit that like, share, and uh, from Sawtooth Tactical, stay strapped or get clapped.